Hello everybody, uh, this is part 2 of the river safari tour and today I'm going to show you the giant electric eel alright so uh, as for the giant electric eel uh, it is a fish, it is a carnivore in diet so uh, group name is uh, the swamp and its average life span in the wild is 15 years and the size is around 2.4 meters 8 feet 44 pounds or around 15 to 18 kg relative to a 6 feet man size right look at the giant electric eel right and for the electric discharge uh, these famous freshwater predators get their name for their enormous electrical charge they can generate to stun their prey and uh, destroy predators okay their body uh, electric organs are contained with 6,000 specialized cells called electro uh, lights or sites that store power like tiny batteries. Okay, so once when threatened or attacking, attacking prey, this cell will discharge simultaneously. Right. So and despite their serpentine appearance, the these eels are actually not eels. Their scientific uh, classification is under the carp or the catfish category. Okay. As for their diet, they are more to like uh, they live in the milky streams, palms of the Amazon basin, Orinoco basin, or South America. Feeding uh, mainly on fishes, alright. Also, like amphibians, like small birds, uh, small mammals, if they have a chance, and they are at rivers, and they also come to the surface frequently, alright. Uh, however, they got poor eyesight and they can emit a uh, low level of charge, you know, like 10 volts or so, uh, used as their radar to navigate and locate their prey. And also, uh, electrical eels can reach a uh, huge proportion, exceeding 8 feet, like 2.4 meters. Okay. Alright, so next, you're going to see a uh, giant red Oscar, and also we have uh, the red belly uh, piranhas as well. Okay. Generally ask us and these other fishes, these are common uh, aquarium fish as, can, as you can see here. Okay, lemon tetra, the, a different tetra type, black tetra, saffron tetra, neon tetra, the most popular, like cardinals, my favorite. Okay, and sucker mouth fish. Look at the beautiful tanks, right? The gigantic tank. I think they put some, uh, but they put some uh, plastic plants here, but however, the tank looks. Uh, great is super huge tank. I love all these features, you know, since I'm young. So, yeah, just uh, enjoy all this wonderful, beautiful tank. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. All the tetras in this tank. Alright. And next, we'll also be seeing the. This is a red berry piranha. This is a real red berry piranha. And in Singapore, it's banned, by the way. So they these piranhas under uh, real safari they are under uh, tight uh, lock pack lock their tanks are uh, under strict pack lock because they can't be released into our reservoirs due to them being illegal. Alright, so uh, they have a very fearsome reputation because a lot of movies portray them as uh, man eaters, man killers. Alright, they can grow up to fifty cm in uh, length. Alright, and uh, they are reddish belly give them their fierce uh, appearance and their face as well. Right. And around 3.9 kg, 8.6 pounds in weight, and you know, uh, the bite is horrible. And you, if you see other uh, YouTube videos, you, you can see uh, they have been hunted and harvested from their river, okay, and their video distribution in South America continent. And you know, find the neotropical rivers in Argentina, Brazil, Bolivia, etc. And here, uh, we have other uh, like flag cichlid, angels, antlers, a very beautiful tank, beautiful uh, tropical fish tank, right? So this part two, this will be a short part two, and uh, we have many, many, many more parts to go. Because the river safari is a very fantastic uh, park, so do bring along your family if you're in Singapore or you're Singaporean. So uh, do enjoy the park. Right? You can see the angels. These angels are fantastic looking. 
big uh, aquarium, all right, relaxing, they are healthy looking, you know, they are plant, just uh, enjoy the this, uh, uh, All of these are uh, aquarium uh, fishes, very fishes, very beautiful fishes. Discus, so blue discus, pink heart, you know, um, yeah. and uh, many many other fantastic fishes. It's a very beautiful discus tank, you know. Uh, simulate the Amazon, I believe should be the Amazon basin. Uh, this uh, this should be the blue discus, but look very uh, similar to wild discus, right? So correct me if I'm wrong. So please uh, comment below comment below to put their actual name thank you very much thanks in advance and look at the tank that is very nice I like the lighting and it should be cardinal or neon atras right bleeding hearts it's a, the same region you know the discus the amazon right look at that and the cori corridoris some of my favorite favorite uh, corridori I kept corridor in my tank as well for five to six years now. Yeah, these are Cardina, Cardina Tetras. Oh, there are two types of very nice Tetras. Yeah, Neon with a shorter red and, and the Cardina with a full red drop. Oh, so, so much nicer than my length. Yeah, it's so nice. Look at the lighting. Okay, so this is a underwater tunnel where you can see the giant sea otters. Okay, and by the way, sea otters are free roaming as well in Singapore's river, and they can be seen fighting crocodiles over the territory. Yeah, crocodiles is over uh, oh, Singapore as well. Inside our uh, passeries, some of the rivers, they even swim up to our drainage area, Sungai Buro. Uh, different different parts so yeah please subscribe if you watch under here and you like and please subscribe for part 3 of River Safari and thanks thanks for watching thank you bye subscribe please